There we go. All right, we are recording. Perfect. So I'll share my screen and give me a thumbs up again, guys. Hopefully you can still see me. Everything's good. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. You can see me. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right, cool. So here we go. As I said, I'll do that a little bit again. How to turn your knowledge and skills into an online education business. Oops, here we go. Who this is for. This is only for people with a drive to free yourself and live life on your own terms. Okay. You have to want more. You can't stay the same. Life is calling us forward and is calling us to freedom. This is for leaders who are brand new to social media marketing. So in our little check in there, again, that was about um, two thirds of the people with us. And you want to turn your knowledge and skills into profit online. I'm going to teach you that if you're brand new. And this is also for current coaches who aren't having consistent months yet and need a proven marketing and sales system to do so. So if you're having a go, but you haven't figured it out, I'll teach you the most simple organic marketing system that I've ever come across. Um, and it works as long as you work and you're willing to grow. I'll teach you that how you can show up and, and be consistent online. So you can actually turn this into an income uh, rather than sort of ups and downs. So in the next 45 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to turn your wisdom, excuse me, your passion, knowledge and wisdom, learned experience or expertise into a profitable social media business that transforms people's lives. And I'm going to show you how to do this even if right now you have no idea what to teach, how to teach or how social media marketing works at all. All right. You can be brand new and I'm going to teach you step by step. Okay. Now, my goal is to awaken you to what's possible with an online education business and give you a clear roadmap to identify, package, and promote your wisdom to transform the lives of others and get paid doing it. All right, so I'm going to take you step by step. And as I said earlier, please take notes. Okay, grab a pen and paper. I saw Taku there with a pen and paper. That's great. Take some notes on this. I will be giving you some exercises that you can do here, but also after to start to make this real, all right? If you're just kicking back with your feet up on the couch thinking, oh, this is just some more information, you're wasting your time, okay? This, it's not about having more information. It's about doing something with that information. It's about doing something different. Give me a yes in the comments if you know that without action, nothing changes, right? That you need to take action. And even the action of me asking you to comment yes is an action in the right direction. Because the more that you play full out, this is something that I've, I've done in my life is every chance I'm playing full out. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, guys. I'm playing full out. You have to go all in, right? You have to. I, I like Anita. She's like got the Y instead of the yes. That works as well. Love it. You have to play full out. So I, I'll make this as entertaining as possible. I'll bring as much energy as possible, but you need to show up. If you want the change in your life, nice, Anita, then you have to play full out, okay? Taku's nodding along. You agree. That's fantastic. All right, so let's, beautiful. So let's dive in. So this is my goal. I will achieve it as long as you show up. So let's have some fun. First of all, some house rules. This is not a get rich, rich quick scheme. If you think this is some like, um, you know, put a dollar in and make $10 come out, this, this is a real business, okay? This is an online education business. You build an audience, you serve people, you help them. It's a real business. It's just on the internet, okay? Now it's transformation or take a hike. Your clients are real people and need real support. This is a, a real stickler for me. Okay, my company is called Integral College, right? It's all about integrity. If you say you're gonna help somebody, you bloody better help them, all right? And we are here to transform people's lives. That's what we get paid for, okay? And finally, you will face challenges on this business journey, both in mindset and skill set. In fact, 80% of this business is mindset. 80% of life is mindset. Nod your head if you agree with that. 80% of our success in life is how we show up in our minds every day. You guys are with me, right? Yep. And skill set. Skill sets are learnable as long as you've got the right mindset to go and learn them. I am here to help you conquer this mountain. Okay. You will need to grow and become more than you are today. That's inevitable. And as long as you're willing to show up and do it, you can do it too. Okay. So does this sound like you? Are you someone with life experience? And again, I said this earlier, but this is something that I think absolutely Gwenda saying. You've overcome some obstacles. You've gained knowledge, conquered a mountain. You have wisdom that can help others on the same or similar path. Give me a yes if that is you. Or are you a natural health professional, a therapist or a healer? So you actually have a professional certification. Nice, guys. Thank you for playing along. And, and you are showing up, right? You, you're doing it, but maybe you're doing it offline and you'd like to be able to take that online, right? Or we asked this before, are you a budding life, business or health coach that needs to master the ability to consistently enroll new clients and leverage your time? 
okay? This is the key to a consistently enroll new clients. Business, you have to have a system. Business is a system. You have to have mechanisms in place. And I'm going to teach you that. Or are you a strong leader with a passionate desire to help create a bright future for all of us by supporting the millions awakening now who need guidance to transform, right? Give me a, give me a yes, yes, if this is you. I definitely find myself in this place as well. Like four yeses, I love it. I, I, I see everybody waking up. I see that the pain that they're going through. You guys see the content that I put out there on social media, right? I'm trying to help people wake up and I can't do it alone. We need leaders. We need you to step up and do it professionally. Don't just dabble in it, but actually grow into the person that can help other people. Because with everybody waking up, they're looking for help and we can be the answer. Most importantly, though, you're too powerful to be chained by the system and you're ready to rise up and lead your own freedom by serving others with who you are. Change one, change all. Exactly. Guys, this is the key for me is enough's enough. Claim your freedom and be who you are. If you've noticed anything, you guys obviously here because I invited you to be here. You notice anything about me? I'm just being my fucking self. That's all. Excuse the language, ladies. I'm just being myself. I really love people. I really love life. I just want to see the world be a beautiful place. And I'm just being myself. And I give you permission to just please be yourself. Grow, be your passionate, loving self. And do it in a way that calls people into their greatness. Because you have that ability, right? You can do that. So if, if this is you, you're in the right place, let's dive in and let's get into it. There is a solution for you. And this is online learning, right? This, th there is a massive rise in online learning. Have a look at this. Forecast to be $350 billion by 2025. But if you read under it, as the numbers might be updated after analyzing the growth impacts of COVID-19 on the online learning market, everybody is looking to learn on the internet. We're all plugged into our phones, our computers, social media is it. Whoops, I tapped that accidentally. Um, have a look at these 30%, 29% growth year on year since 2020, right? Online courses and, and the MOOC, which is a massive open online course, just an acronym for the courses, 30% um, a year growth. Everyone is looking online. Well, not everyone, but they soon will be to grow, to learn. They're looking for help. They're looking for support, whether it's in their life, their business, their health, their relationships, anything and everything. And the truth is you don't need to be qualified or certified. If you've got a piece of paper, fantastic, but you don't need it. I don't have a marketing certificate. I don't have an online business degree, right? I've just got me. I've got 14 years of experience. I've got my passion and energy. Panos, just make sure you admit people as they come in as well. You don't need that bit of paper. Oops. If you have the results in your life or you've helped others get that result, maybe you've coached somebody else through it, your friend, your family, whatever, that is your qualification, okay? And there are thousands of people across the world right now with the same issue that you've overcome or that you have the ability to solve. That's the beauty of the internet. We can reach so many people. And this works in any topic. Now, again, guys, if you are brand, cheers, Panos. If you guys are brand new, I want you to have a quick read through this. Everything and anything goes. People are looking online and you've seen it on social media. You've Googled it. You've YouTube searched it. You can search for anything. And there is people out there that are looking for a solution to that problem, health and fitness, marketing, mindset, soul activation, healing, naturopathy, dog training, survival skills, how to grow food. Have a look at the homesteading videos. I watch a lot of them on YouTube. How many people are searching about homesteading right now, how to grow your own food? There's so many things out there that you can be focused on. So don't think it has to be a certain way. We can actually look now about what you could be teaching, but you can do so much on social media. Once you embody the mindset and learn this skill set, the freedom is yours. Now, just quickly, who who I who am I? Who I am? I'll just give it to you the short version because I think a lot of you guys know me already. But just quickly, um, I was a professional adventure guide for my twenties. I used to take people scuba diving, whitewater rafting, kayaking, and I just loved to travel. Uh, at nineteen, I fled my home of Brisbane and and went back to Cairns where I grew up uh, because a guy tried to kill me. 17, uh, I was arrested and 18, I got 16 criminal convictions. People are like, what the fuck? Is that you? It's like, yeah, I had a crazy teenage life, like crazy years as a teenager. And at 19, this guy literally tried to, to kill me, tried to end my life. And I fled, I had to leave. And I made a decision on that day, the 25th of January, the day before Australia Day, 25th of January, 2001, 
I made the decision that I was going to be happy. Uh, that was the day that I, I got on a plane, left Brisbane, you know, started my life again. And I decided I was going to be happy. And I wanted to just be myself because uh, I realized I was being what everyone else wanted me to be, the good student. I got the good job. I got good grades. I was, and I just, I burst. I, I couldn't handle the pressure of being what mum wanted me to be, dad wanted me to be, school wanted me to be, society wanted me to be. And that's why I started breaking into cars and getting into fights. And eventually, as I said, get arrested and then convicted. No recorded convictions, no criminal record or anything. They, they knew I was a good person, but I was just a bit messed up in the head, let's say. And it was on that day in 2001, I decided to be happy. I decided to be myself. Um, and I wouldn't be what anyone else wanted me to be. So for my 20s, I was an adventure guide. I traveled the world. I had fun. And then at 28, I got introduced to this whole thought leader space. Back then, it wasn't even much on the internet. Social media was just starting uh, but we used to do retreats and events. I moved to Bali in 2012. I lived in Bali for five years, um, supporting thought leaders in sales and marketing. So I ran their marketing. I did their sales. I had a sales team that I used to, we used to do sales on the phone for retreats, health retreats, yoga retreats, business retreats, lots of different things. Um, and then in 2015, I, I finally said, you know what? I, I think I need to be teaching because I see a lot of these people and again, why I call my company Integral College, a lot of these guys, they're not actually living it. They're saying all of this stuff. And then behind the curtain, they're a completely different person. And I, I call bullshit on it. And so I launched my first coaching program in 2015 uh, called the Self Love Adventure, because uh, I feel that self love is the foundation of all success, all happiness, all life. And that was a journey that I went through is to just love myself, to, to appreciate and care about who I am um, rather than. Um, are you guys still there? I just saw Taku. I think I've shocked you with my story. But um, yeah, I, I, I launched the Self Love Adventure. Give me a comment. If, yeah, you guys, they're cool. Um, self Love Adventure, uh, teaching self love. And through that journey, I attracted a lot of um, uh, entrepreneurs, coaches, and network marketers were the ones that were paying because they're the ones that are in personal development and they were wanting to learn about themselves. Awesome, guys. Um, and all of a sudden, the conversations went from once they were loving themselves and, and had self-belief and self-confidence, then they were like, hey, Scotty, like, how do you do the marketing thing? How do you do the sales thing? So I naturally started teaching that. And I realized if I can help people, there's an old saying, sell them what they want or give them, sell them what they want and give them what they need. You guys have heard of that before? Sell them what they want and give them what they need. People wanted to learn how to market and how to sell, but really what it came down to was self-belief and self-love. So I was naturally attracting people that wanted to grow their businesses, but when it came down to it, I was helping them to believe in themselves, speak their truth, stand in their power. And all of a sudden they started getting these amazing results and it wasn't the skill sets. It was the skill sets. I was teaching them how to market and sell, but it was so much about the self-belief and the mindset shifts that I was helping people make that they would get out there and crush it. So in saying that, um, I, I am recognized as a preeminent expert in the entrepreneurial mindset, the leader's mind, right? Which is the foundation of all life and business success. And obviously I'm awake and aware to the global dictatorship. I'm doing everything I can to free as many leaders as possible and transform our world through transformational online education. We are the ones that are going to make the difference here. I'm not waiting for some top-down solution. We're the ones grassroots level that are going to get out there and do it. I can't do it alone. We have to do it together. You can reach people I can't. You can help people that I can't help them, right? So we've got to do this together. I just happen to be good at the sales and marketing and the self-belief, like getting you to take action. So let's dive in. Discovering the five-step framework. So guys, grab your pen and paper because this is where we start getting into the nuts and bolts of it. I just want to bring my screen. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you're still there with me. You guys are there. Oh, yeah. I see you. Cool, cool, cool. No, it's got a bit lonely there when I was telling my deep and meaningful. Thanks, Taku. I couldn't see any comments. I was like, am I still there? You guys will leave me? Yeah, beautiful. Muriel's there. Cool. Awesome. All right, guys. So let's dive in. So discovering the five-step framework. What I'm going to teach you now is what I believe to be the simplest way that you listening with intent, love it, Tessa, that you can take where you are right now. Again, I'm starting with someone who's brand new and actually move into the like, how do I package this? How do I promote it? How do I make money? But this wasn't easy. Like when I started 14 years ago, it was a very different world. And over this journey, working with so many thought leaders, and I'm talking big guys, you know, the multi-millionaire thought leaders that are traveling around the world, I was doing their sales and marketing all the way down to the people. And this is who I love helping the most is the people that are just getting their voice out there you know, that really want to make that difference because I can take all of this complex 
marketing and I make it really simple. That's something that I'm very good at. It must be from taking people scuba diving or something when they're freaking out underwater. I can make difficult things seem really easy and people do it. People are able to do it, right? They're on the edge of a waterfall about to go whitewater rafting. And I'm like, hey, you got this. It's fine. Take my hand. We're going to do it together. And they're like, okay, boom, let's go down the waterfall. So I, I love making it simple for people. Um, and this has been a journey, not only in my business, because honestly, I, I'm not that financially driven. I, I, I haven't, I didn't get into this game because I wanted to make money. I got into this game because I wanted to make a difference. And I don't say that as some sap, I know there's like thought leaders out there that say that, like, I'm serious, you know, I, I chose this life because I nearly died because a guy tried to kill me after 16 grand more convictions. Like, I'm on this journey because I just love people and I want to see people be happy. I realized sitting out, and too many stories, but sitting out on the Great Barrier Reef on a kayaking trip, and I notice I'm in the Great Barrier Reef. It's absolutely beautiful on the sandy beach called Fitzroy Island, if you've ever been to Cairns. And I noticed that I kept looking at the people more than the beauty of nature. And then it came to me over many months, my happiness is tied to other people's happiness. I get joy by seeing other people light up with joy. When somebody comes out and they're like, oh my God, I saw a turtle. I'm like, that's awesome. Like, I just love that. When somebody comes to me and goes, Scotty, I just made a $5,000 month and now I don't have to go to work anymore. I'm like, that's awesome. Do it again. Right? Like I get joy from helping other people. So that's what I love to do. And I'm, I'm good at what I do. I obviously make enough money to live the life that I want to live, but my happiness comes from helping you. So hopefully in this, you can take what I've, you know, what was complex and see the simplicity that this can be. All right, enough of the intro, let's dive in. Five steps, step number one, I'm a helper too. Truth and deed, beautiful. Yeah, give me a shout out guys, if you resonate with that. If you are someone that's like, yes, I just want to help people. Like I'm driven to help people. I get my happiness from helping other people. And, and, and I don't think that that's just me. I think that's, you know, they call us empaths, right? We, we feel other people, we 100%, yes, right? We feel other people, we're connected to other people. We, we see somebody and we just have to help them. Yes, you guys are in the right place. We're in the right place. Love poor people more than animals. I'm going to just write my own thing about self martial and then the screen came up. Hey, beautiful. All right, so let's dive into that, Tessa. So step number one is to, I, thank you for playing along too, guys. Identify your mastery. Ever seen Kung Fu Panda? Everyone's got their own little ninja moves, right? Their own Kung Fu moves. We're all a little bit different and we need to identify what you're great at. So you can take a photo of this screen at the bottom. I'll, I'll take a second. Or you can write these down if you're good at writing. But this is what I want you to work through. What have you overcome in your life? Relationship, health for yourself, for others, business, mindset, whatever it is. What are you an expert in? Right? So what, what are you really great at? You might not have the piece of paper, but you're definitely an expert in it. Right? What are your professional skills? This is, are you a naturopath? Did you study something at college or at university? Do you have a piece of paper, a coaching certificate, whatever it may be? Right? What have you achieved that you can teach others? What mountain have you climbed that other people are like, how did you do it? I want to learn that too. You know, and maybe naturally, thanks, Panos, love you, bro. What are you, what are you naturally guided to help people with? And what are you most passionate about? Now, you've got to have the passion, you've got to love what you do. Uh, because you've got to do it for a long time. I want you to, to do this exercise for me. You can do it now, but take the notes and then do it later. Draw, go get a, a, an A4 bit of paper, or if you're on a screen, good luck. You can do it somehow. Um, and draw a big circle and write what you love. And I want you to go and write everything that you love to do, whether it's going for sunset walks on the beach, to gardening, to cooking, to teaching people like me. I love teaching people. You can probably see that I'm loving this. I absolutely love it. I can't get enough. What do you love to do? Everything that you love to do, write it down in a circle. Second to that is I want you to write down what you're good at. All right. Write down everything that you're good at. And notice this little bit in the middle. I don't know if you can see my, can you see my pointer? Say yes or no, if you can see my pointer on my screen. Maybe only I can see my pointer. You can see it. I love it. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So see this little bit in the middle. That's an overlap. Now there's some things that you love uh, but you're not good at, right? There's some things that you're good at, but you really don't like them. You just happen to be good at, them, you know? But if there's in the middle, there's a place where you're good at it and you love to do it, that's a sweet spot. And then finally, the last circle is what people will pay for. Now, you may love it, you may be good at it, but maybe nobody wants to pay for it. In which case, why would you try and start a business around it? You may be great at it, people may pay good money for it, but you don't love it, 
hey, don't even attempt it. Because building this is a long-term vision, right? I'm talking to the next two years, three years, five years, showing up and growing. If you don't love it, you're not going to have the legs to carry you through. So these three are going to give you a sweet spot in the middle. This is where you've got the love for your business and for your life because you are the business and you've got the money because people are willing to pay for it and you're bloody good at doing it. You get them the results. So this is a great exercise, especially if you're starting out to find that sweet spot in the middle. All right. Now, here's the key, though, with identifying your mastery. You don't have to be the master. You don't have to be the guru of all gurus. You just have to be two steps in front, two steps in front. Your ideal client is climbing a mountain, right? They, they are struggling up some mountain that you've already climbed, you've already accomplished. They don't want you to be at the top of the mountain. They want you to be just two steps in front on the same journey hold their hand, reach down, take their hand and help them up the same mountain that you're climbing. If you're at the top of the mountain going, yeah, just move your left foot to the left. Or you see that hand hold on the right. They're like, ah, help me. Don't just yell down at the top from, from the top. Bloody help me. So here's the key. You don't have to be the guy at the top of the mountain. In fact, the people at the top of the mountain, they don't have time to actually put their hand out and help you because they're off doing something else or they've got so many people that they're working with that they can't help. What people are looking for, and this is the beauty of this industry, is somebody that they can relate to, somebody that they can connect to, somebody that they can believe in and who believes in them. And that when you're struggling on your journey up the mountain, whatever the journey is that you're guiding them, they grab your hand and they say, I've got you. Just take one more step. You can do this. And you're there looking them in the eye, holding their hand, helping them on that journey. So please get out of your mind that you have to be the per perfect enlightened being in what it is you want to help people and just focus on being two steps in front. Okay. Give me a yes. If that resonates with you, please. If you feel the truth in that, you don't have to be the best of the best. You just, Anita, you're so quick on that. Why? I love it. You just have to be two steps in front. I'm going to give you a fantastic example. And this is actually an example that David, you know, Alex, I'm pretty sure, right? Alex Kenny is a beautiful man. He's become a very dear friend. Thank you. You're very welcome. I hope that, that gives you some permission. So Alex was the same. Alex loved men's work and personal development. We actually met through the Mankind Project. And I think, David, that's where you and I met too, yeah? Um, or we met through the other men's work. But Alex, he loved men's work. Absolutely loved it. Personal development. He had no idea how to get into the business. He kept seeing me and saying, Scotty, how are you doing this coaching thing, right? How do I do this thing? Self-belief was Alex's greatest obstacle. And you look at the guy, like he's, he's a solid, strong, confident man, but he had some self-belief stuff that was holding him back from taking action. So a mindset shift, as I said, 80% of the work and a skill set upgrade, and Alex was able to set himself free. While working with me, Alex left his job as a refrigeration mechanic and is now a full-time men's empowerment coach. And it was mostly his mind that was holding him back. He, th he thought he had to be the guy of all guys to help other guys, to help other men, right? But we shifted his perspective. He's two steps in front of this man. Sarah saying, my biggest obstacle. For most of us, Sarah, it is our self-belief. And that's why I focus so heavily on it, looking you in the eye and getting you to take that next step. And that's what I did with Alex. And he was able to do it. He left his job, refrigeration mechanic gone. And now he works as a full-time men's empowerment coach, doing what he loves to do, helping people in the way that he's gifted to help them. So that's step one identify your mastery. All right. Do those exercises after, but now let's keep moving on to clarify the result. What is the time? Oh, I've got to keep moving. All right, cool. So I don't want to keep you guys here all night, but I hope that you are getting something from this. Step number two on this five-step journey is to clarify their result, their result. All right. Notice this as I dive into it. Our business online education, or what I like to call transformational online education, is about transformation. It's not about information, okay? Information is free. I can go to YouTube right now and I can watch some videos about information, right? That's the way that the internet is today. It's flooded with information. People pay for results, okay? They're not paying for you to talk to them about something. They're paying for you to get them a result, okay? And this is where most marketers get it wrong, where most people who get out there and try and sell some sort of online education get it wrong. What's this thing here? Can you guys write in the comments? What is that? And it's a little del delay here, but I think Anita, who's got the fast fingers, will probably get it first. It's a ferry, Anita. Well done. How good's Anita kill Kenny? She's fast on the fingers, eh? It's a ferry. Now, what most people, what does a ferry do? A ferry takes you from one side of the river to the other side of the river, 
right? That's what a ferry does. But what most marketers are doing is they're selling the journey. Oh, come with me for six months. Come to my weekend workshop. We're going to do this one. The seats are really comfy and there's nice music and you'll get a refreshment. They don't care. People don't care about the journey. They don't even want to go to the journey. If you could go f- faster across the river, you go faster across the river. You need to sell the destination. You need to sell the result. People pay for the result and they're paying for the result in emotional terms. People make decisions from emotion. We people, and and tell me if I'm wrong here, we make decisions from emotion and we justify with logic. All right, we make the decision emotionally. We justify, you know, that is a good decision. I think I have made the right decision there because X, Y, and Z and the logic, the logic, the logic, bullshit. Your heart already made the decision. Your gut already made the decision. Your brain is just starting to catch up. And so you, you can like, satiate the, the the logical brain yeah, no that is a good you you got to connect with people emotionally help them to feel what it feels like to be at the top of the mountain stop selling the ride now why is that the case who's heard of the hero's journey before joseph campbell wrote a book called a hero with a thousand faces fantastic book it's more of a textbook very hard to read but uh you can google this um, most of my teaching where i guide people is based on the hero's journey because I feel, yes or no, heard of it, don't know much about it. Let's go into it. I feel that this is the, it's, it's the ultimate story. And just briefly, every story, whether it's old school fairy tales to modern Hollywood, to what you watch on TV, to the books that you read, to the life that you're living, the story of your life, the his story, it's even written in there, is based on the hero's journey. Now, you start out with a call to adventure. I want to get healthy. I want to lose weight. I know Kathy, I don't know if Kathy come on live. Kathy has just lost 25 kilos in the last, I think she said six months or something. And she wants to help other people. Everyone's like commenting and reaching out and saying, how did you do it? 25 kilos. You look amazing. She's making videos. Um, we have a call to adventure. Maybe you said, I like Alex, I, I, I want to grow as a man or I, I want to, I want to build my business. I, I want to have a great relationship, whatever it is. You have a call to adventure. And then from that call to adventure, usually you find a mentor. Maybe that's what I am for you right now. I'll maybe be one of many mentors over your journey. But you find a mentor, somebody that's done the lap already, that's, that's worked it out. If you want a great relationship, you go and find someone who has a great relationship. If like Kathy, if you want to lose 25 kilos, you might knock on Kathy's door and be like, hey, Kathy, can you show me what you did? Because you look amazing and I want to lose 25 kilos too. You find a mentor. From there, you cross the first threshold. That's where you actually step onto the path and say, oh my God, here I am. Here's a story example. Have you all seen Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, right? I think we've all seen those movies, absolutely fantastic movies. So Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit, he has the call to adventure. Literally, the wizard comes, Gandalf comes and says, you're coming on an adventure. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm quite happy where I am. And the mentor who looks like this wizard says, no, 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 you're coming with me. The dwarves show up. That's the allies. He didn't know it at the time. They were just eating all his food, if you remember. And finally, the next day, they take off and he says, I'm not going. And if you remember, he runs through the frontier and catches up to them and says, all right, I'm coming with you, right? Now, all of a sudden, he is going to meet the tests and the enemies. How many enemies did they have in that movie? How many enemies do we have in our journey? How many times did Kathy want to give up on losing 25 kilos? How many times have I, in my journey of freedom, said, fuck, it's too hard, I can't do it, and wanted to give up? Of course, that's part of the deal. And that's why you have allies to do it with you. So they pick you up when you fall down and vice versa, and a mentor to keep cheering you along and showing you the next step. Finally, after many tests and enemies, you'll come up against the ordeal, the great dragon, the witch, the Darth Vader, your father, whomever it is you have to come up against to conquer the greatest enemy of all, which is the fear inside of yourself. I call this the dragon of fear. Once you overcome the dragon of fear, you claim the reward. The princess in the tower is now yours. The gold in the mountain, in the case of the Hobbit, is now yours. You get the reward, right? This is life. This is how we, you come over the, overcome the ordeal, excuse me, and you get the reward of the great relationship, the great body, the great health, the great business, the great life, whatever it is. And then finally, you take the road back. Now, this is important because the road back is where you come back to your people as the crowned king or queen of this adventure. And they look to you and they say, teach us, what did you learn? How can I learn too? And all of a sudden, 
you step into the role of the mentor. So for you right now, you are on this journey. You've lived this journey. That's what the, the uh, identifying your mastery, you've been through this already. You have claimed some reward. Now you can go back and you can help other people. And your new call to adventure, that's why you're here right now, is to say, how can I now take this experience, this wisdom, this knowledge, this strength as a leader, and I can return back to help other people because the cycle never ends. And then you step onto the call to adventure, finding a new mentor, but now you're a mentor as well. And that's where life gets really exciting. You're not just on the loop at the bottom, but you level up and you say, I'm now going to help other people on their own hero's journey. And this is how we make the world a better place. Okay. So again, to finalize this one, you have to clarify their result. What did they get? Because if you go and tell them how tough it's going to be, because life is tough sometimes, they're not going to want to leave the comfort of their home. But if you can show them and get them to feel and tap into that emotion of, I can do this, they will join the adventure with you. That's the ultimate marketing message. All right. So that was step number two, clarify their result. All right. So now we've identified your mastery. We're clarifying their result emotionally. What was this? At the bottom of my page, I'm taking notes and quote about the road. Beautiful, Taku. So guys, this is so important. And I know that I'm moving a little bit quick. Uh, because, you know, again, I don't want to keep you here forever, but this is important to know that emotion in your marketing message is where most people go wrong. They're focused on the journey and not the destination and how it feels for people to stand at the top of the mountain. If you can, if you're a coach already, or you're just getting started, get that into your head. Having that emotion in your marketing and sales is very, very important. And if I leave you with anything, please take that. But let's keep moving because it's like quarter two already. Package your promise. Now, you know the result, you know your mastery, you know the mountain that you've climbed and that you're going to help other people climb. Now we need to package it into a promise. Notice it doesn't say package your offer. I'm not here to make an offer to people. I'm here to bloody promise people. If you do everything that I show you to do, you conquer the, the man or the woman in the mirror, you show up, you take action, I will get you to the top of the mountain. That is my promise. And I will do everything I can to get you there. Are you in? Let's go, right? That's your promise. Now, in doing that, there's four plus one types of online education. All right, so take some notes on this. Let me get some water. The first is one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is best for beginners. If you are just starting out, which two-thirds of you guys were, I would be guiding you to start one-on-one -on -one coaching. That means that we get out there and we do your marketing, we bring somebody to you, and then your delivery of your education, of your coaching, your healing, your therapy, your support is one-on-one. -on -one. So it's you, them on Zoom, on the phone, person to person, and it's just one-on-one. -on -one. You can then get really good at serving that person without you know, having lots of people because the second type is group coaching. Once you've done a few one-on-one -on -one clients, you start to realize, hey, I can do this. I can help these people. What if I get two, three, five, 10 people on a Zoom or in a class or whatever, I like to do it on Zoom and I do them all together. They then have allies that they can learn with and you get to coach each of them and they get to learn from each other's journey. I love this type of coaching, but you've got to do the one-on-one -on -one first, but then moving to gr group, you get the leverage that's one on many and they get the allies and they get to learn from each other, okay? Third is a live course. Again, I hope you're taking notes on this. Live course is where after you've done a heap of one-on-one -on -one or group coaching, it doesn't matter, you could just do one-on-one -on -one and go straight to a course. You're gonna notice, and I call this the stairway to heaven, that there's certain steps that every person has to take, right? So like in, in, in my business, there's steps that you need to take to identify your mastery, to clarify the result, to work out your ideal client, to actually map out the stairway to heaven, to build your marketing engine, to develop your webinar, to learn how to sell, right? There's steps that you need to take and so you can actually turn them into modules rather than saying the same thing to every one-on-one -on -one coaching client that you speak to, you turn it into a video. And then they go through, say, six weeks of live training where every week you deliver a module and then you coach them as well. They watch the videos, you coach them, and then you're starting to get more leverage. And so are they because they can come back in three months time and re-watch that video about mindset and then get you there you know, with them to help them more. The fourth way is like a live course, but it's, it's evergreen, meaning it's filmed and into modules and they can start at any time. 
So today your client says, I want to get started with you. And you say, awesome. This is the price. They pay you. Perfect. You put them straight into your course. Immediately, they have a whole library of each step, the stairway to heaven that they need to climb. Now, if they're a go-getter, I'm going to show you an example of Marshall and Kat in a second. If they're a go-getter. They'll start. And in a few weeks, they'll go through the whole course. And you're like, whoa, that was awesome. Well done. You know, because they can do it at their own time. Other people take longer. No problems. You've got three kids and a husband and a life and it's fine. We understand. But you can step through step by step. This is the bee's knees for them because they've got it there for life. And for you, because you're not saying the same thing over and over. Now you can work with the nuances and the intricacies of that person's mindset or skill set that they need to really have focused attention on. I'll, I'll try and say that my voice is going a little bit. I'm getting a bit excited. I'll try and say that in an easier way. They will do the training that is necessary by watching videos and doing PDFs. Then when you get them into your coaching, you, you're chatting with them, whatever, you notice things coming up and you can say, well, well what was that? Let, let me talk about that. Let me go into that. Let me go into that. And so rather than spending time teaching, the videos teach and you coach. It's fantastic. The greatest transformation happens. And again, they have lifetime access to those modules. And for you, it's complete leverage because the videos do the talking instead of you. We want to get to one of these, but we want to start here if you're just new. All right. Um, uh, for the reasons that I just shared, I want to keep moving. The final way, the plus one is a membership. When you have an audience, you can then go out and say, okay, I've got a $50 a month. You have a hundred people in there and you're making your money. You're making your five grand a month or whatever it is. Um, but you, want to do, you don't want to do that yet because you want to have an audience first. Because if you start a $50 a month membership teaching them once a month or whatever it is, and you're only reaching 10 to 20 people, uh, very difficult to, to make any money. You want to start with something that has a higher uh, perceived value, which is more the one-on-one -on -one or the group with the videos and the coaching uh, and get them the transformation and the membership can come later. Now, speaking of that, pricing for transformation been a little bit slow there for a while you guys still with me give me a thumbs up if you're still with me over there yeah champion awesome 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 cool all right guys i hope my voice is going to hold out here because i can feel muriel's little hand up thing i love that that just works for me little digital hand up i love it so yeah hopefully my voice sticks with me but here we go so pricing this is a big one there are people out there in the marketplace that are never ever 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 going to pay a dollar to change their life Oh, just mute yourself, whomever that is, or Panos will for you. Thank you. There's people that are just never, ever going to pay, right? 33% of people, let's say, are never, ever going to pay for anything. They're going to watch some free YouTube videos. They're dabbling. They're not actually keen on transforming their life. They just like got an interest in maybe having a great relationship one day or getting their health back, right? There's some people that are going to pay, you know, the low ticket, 40, you know, $47, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks. You know, you get the PDF, you watch a couple of videos, those low ticket, there's no actual interaction with the person. Give me a yes or Anita's why. If you've ever bought one of these low ticket products before for something, maybe it was a video course, maybe it was a PDF, or even a book is a low ticket offer, right? And yeah, oh, the whys are coming in. Anita, you started a trend, I like it. Um, you don't get, like there's, there can be transformation in that, but without having like actual somebody there to ask questions and engage with you, it is more difficult. Mid ticket, and high ticket, this is where we want to be playing the game. From both a client perspective and a business perspective. And here, here, here's why, I'll tell you. These people are going to pay money. 17%, 22% of people are going to pay money for transformation. Don't even try and worry about trying to convert people who aren't going to pay for transformation. You're wasting your time. Low ticket, you've got to sell a lot of $47 eBooks to make any money, right? And again, they're not going to... Yeah, here it is. I bought so many load tickets I don't complete. That's the thing, Elizabeth, because the, the value isn't there. I paid 50 bucks. Oh, well, I'll get around to it one day. You go and pay $1,000. You pay $3,000. You pay $5,000 for transformation. And that person is showing up. So Tina's saying the same. You bought the load ticket, never did it. That coach, that healer, that therapist is showing up, looking you in the eye. Every, Jules is with us looking you in the eye every week going, did you take the action that you committed to last week? And you're like, ah, no, not yet. It's like, why not? Oh, well, this came up. Well, let's deal with that. And they're actually there to guide you, to hold your hand. And because from the business perspective, you, you don't have to have many clients paying you $1,000 or paying you $3,000 to have your business. 
right? You can work with just a handful of people, go really deep with those people, be there for them, hold the space for them. And it, let's be honest though, it takes effort. It takes work. You have to really care about helping people. And I think I was very clear about that in the beginning. You have to, you have to really care about wanting to serve people because when you take on a high ticket client and you say, I will help you get there, take my hand, they're holding your hand, right? Over the summer, I took on no new clients because I was inside me. I was on my land, building my home, making gardens, planting trees, and just loving summer. And I purposely said, I don't want to take on any clients because when I've taken on a client, I fall in love with that client. I want to help that client to win. I've made a promise. And so again, high ticket for the, for the client is absolutely transformational because you're there holding them accountable. You're there holding their hand. You're asking, you're, you're looking at them and going, hey, what's going on with you today? Well, I noticed something's different about you. And they're like, oh, well, what's going on? Well, let's talk about that. And you can actually help them. So this is really powerful. Also high, me too, also high price, but no one to one-on-one -on -one personal interaction. Wow, so you paid a high price, but you didn't get any one-on-one -on -one or any personal interaction. Could be group uh, as well, but you have to have, you know, there's a lot of coaches out there, especially the big guys who are selling this stuff and it's just mass. They're really great at sales and marketing and they just sell, right? Do not be that person. If we're going to change the world together, you got to get in there and you got to love on people and you got to help people. So get out there and actually help people. If, if you just think this is all about the money, you're in the wrong place. Okay. This is about making the world a better place because we are all in this together. We're cells in an organism. When you grow, I grow. When you feel better, I feel better. When you're happy, I'm happier. That's how this life works. And we've got to help people. So if you're going to you know, charge somebody that $3,000, look them in the eye, take their hand and get them the result, get them the transformation. But I, I hope in this, you see, don't play the $47, $300 course. There's, there's teachers out there that teach it. It is very, very difficult. Go and find three people who want to pay you $3,000. Go really deep with them for the next 90 days and absolutely change their life. That's what I recommend. Now, it's a bigger conversation that we would need to look at. What is your result? Who is your ideal client? What is the pain that you're taking them through? What is your marketing message? But sort of as a guide, $1,000 minimum is where you want to be starting. All right. So now you say to me, well, that's great, Scotty. How do I coach and how do I teach? I've never done this before. That's, you know, that's great. But don't worry, I can teach you that. It's not, uh, it's not the hardest thing in the world as long as you come from a place of empathy and care. I keep harping on this, but you have to genuinely care about people. You have to really want to help people. People feel that. So if you can bring that, that's a great start. The second is to create simple steps for the win. I talk about the stairway to heaven. The simpler, and I spoke about this at the beginning, this doesn't have to be difficult. Marketing and sales on the internet doesn't have to be very difficult, but you have to make it simple. You have to get people to take action on a really simple step, get a win, go, holy shit, I'm doing this. I just lost two kilos, Kathy. What do I do next? And you're like, awesome. Now do this. Great. Right. And they take the next step. Third is to follow a framework. So uh, what I do and, you know, a little plug here, but what I teach is I give you a framework for how to teach. How do you structure a lesson? How do you actually do this webinar thing? I give you the slides. I teach you how to teach it, how to run a webinar, how to coach. I give you actual framework of how to coach. How do I lead a one-on-one -on -one coaching session? How do I lead a group coaching session? How do I structure a group coaching session once they've done the, the modules in a live or evergreen course? Follow a framework so you're not just winging it. You don't want to just get on the phone with somebody and be like, hey, okay, so tell me about your day, right? Like, what do I do? How do I get rapport? How do I... And I start with my discovery questions. What questions do I need to be asking? When do I know when to transition? How do I close a coaching call and get them to commit to action? Follow a framework. And then the final thing I mentioned it, get them to take action. Whatever you're doing, teaching and coaching, nothing changes without some action. Sometimes uncomfortable action, and that's your job to get them to take that action. My job is to get you to take action, to believe in yourself, to go and take action. Your job is to do the same thing for them. And then it trickles down, Okay. Another great example here, Maria Blakely with her three kids. Guys, who, who out there is homeschooling or is interested in homeschooling? We've got a four and a half year old. We homeschool him. He doesn't go to kindy or anything. Um, it's a lot of work. Maria does it for three kids and has done for the last eight years. Yep, homeschooling, cool. Homeschooling here, awesome. So Maria's three kids, um, 15, 12, and eight, I think Harvey is. Have to, no worries. Catch the replay, Grenda. We'll catch you soon. I'm going a bit long here. Am I? Cool. All right, I'm going to finish this up very quickly. So Maria homeschooled for eight years. 
And she designed, first four years, she was doing the sit down, shut up and listen. Here's the textbook, follow what I teach you to do, right? Didn't work. Over the last four years, five years now, she's gone and created her own sort of learning methodology, which is student-centered, passion-based, project-style learning. So the kids actually work on their own passion projects and she pulls out the learning, whether it's math, science, English, communication, accounting, business skills, out of those projects. And it absolutely revolutionized her kids' education and her relationship with her kids. So together, uh, obviously, Maria was one of my students, we were able to turn this learning methodology into a powerful curriculum and actually created a course to teach other homeschooling families how to not just sit your kid down in the corner and do the textbook, but actually how to get them engaged and passionate through project style learning, like being an entrepreneur. Maria's webinar launch made $34,000 for her family. She'd never done anything like this before. She was very passionate, but I showed her how to teach, how to coach, how to structure it, how to package it. She launched with a webinar very similar to this and made $34,000 in homeschooling. Now, obviously what she's teaching is very revolutionary. It's fantastic. And the time now where all of us are waking up and we want to homeschool, there was a great market for it. She went on and she's continuing to go now with her kids. So you can do this, guys, if you have that passion for wanting to help people, the structure is there. All right, so that's step three. Guys, it's almost the top of the hour and I'm still rambling. So I'm going to keep moving a bit quicker. But now we've got your structure and hopefully you're taking notes. Hopefully you've got some notes there. It's obviously a lot more work to do, but realizing that you've got a, you've got a level of mastery. All you have to be is two steps in front. You don't have to be the guru of all gurus, just two steps in front, helping somebody. You've now identified their result, uh, what, what, uh, clarified their result. So you've clarified the emotion that they will feel. So when you speak to them on social media, they feel that result in their life. Now we've packaged your wisdom. Are you going to do one-on-one -on -one coaching for $3,000? It's a great place to start. $2,700 is usually where I start most of my, my students. Um, but you've got to know what is, what is it? What are the deliverables? How do I deliver? How do I coach? How do I teach? Now you've actually got a, a product. You've got a package that you're going to take to people to transform their life. Take my hand. I'll help you. This is what it looks like. Now, the step four here is to attract and transform. This is the marketing. All right. So guys that are out there that have been doing this for a while, this will be everything before is super important. It leads into this. Your marketing message. People. Marketers are trying to sell the benefits. Don't sell the features, sell the benefits, whatever, of their coaching and course. Nobody cares, ladies and gents, nobody cares about your benefits, your course. They care about themselves. People care about themselves. Your entire marketing message must be on how they will feel when they get to the top of the mountain. What does it feel like to be able to homeschool your kids in a way that the kids are fully engaged and not just like, mom, do I have to do this? or you're arguing with your kids. What does it feel like for them, you know, for Alex, for these men, but we still got people coming in, for these men to, um, yeah, keep going, it's fine. For these men to, to finally overcome their demons like Alex has done and be able to live the life they want to live. What does it feel like to be able to work from your phone on social media? Here's the top of the mountain that I'm showing you and be able to be yourself. Just be yourself. That's what my message is for you. Be yourself and help people and get paid to do it. Be strategic in the way that you use social media, not just a consumer, but actually somebody that's adding value and packaging who you are, your experience, so that you can be you and get paid to be you and make the world a better place. What does it feel like to have that freedom? That's what you need to help people to understand and to really embody, okay? That's your marketing message. With that marketing message, you then need to take it to the marketplace as a leader, as an authority. Your marketing message is the result right? You, they feel that result is possible for them. You must have a genuine desire for them to succeed. I spoke about this earlier, but as a leader, a leader, they have to feel that you care about them, that you want them to succeed. Otherwise, they're never going to follow you. They're never going to go with you. Third, you need confidence and certainty. A leader has confidence and certainty. You've done it yourself. Kathy just lost 25 bloody kilos. I hope she comes on and sees this because I keep talking about it. Uh, I love Kathy. She's been are very supportive of me for many years and all my comments. I love you, Kathy. You're awesome. But Kathy's confidence and certainty is like, I just lost 25 kilos in six months. Holy shit. If I can do this, anyone can do this. Bring that confidence and certainty. Let people feel that. 
And then finally, from that inner stuff is you need an actual system. I said this before, business is a system. You need a system for adding value, making an offer and closing a sale. I call this the authority sales system. You don't have to have a massive following. You've got 200, 500 people on your, your Facebook news feed right now. Some of those people are looking for what you have to offer. And you think, oh, they're all my friends and family. Fine, start there. Start there. And then let's use some really strategic tools. Facebook is fantastic. It's where everybody's hanging out to bring more people to your message. We've even got bits of software that go into Facebook groups and bring people to your profile, getting a bit more advanced, but you can reach people. All you need to do is be positioning yourself as the authority. So when they see you, they're like, Kathy knows what she's talking about. This is amazing. She just did it. I can do it too. Let's go. You know, whatever it is. First of all, how do you get people to be attracted to you? Word of mouth right? Friend tells a friend. Somebody shares your post, word of mouth. On organic post, you, you guys got here from an organic post. Excuse me, from an organic post. Um, I made a post, you said, yes, let's have a chat or a paid ad. Once you get into this, you can start putting your message pay to get in front of new people. From that, we send people to some sort of an opt-in. Now, this is either a page. So you, you, you've entered your name and email before to watch a training, no doubt or it could be a two-step post. And that's how you guys got here. So a two-step, so there's two steps. The first is, hey, 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 comment me or comment freedom, usually the ones I use, and I will send you the link. And then from there, the second step is we got into Messenger, right? Sorry, excuse me for one second. I've been talking too much. My throat is starting to <clears throat> not feel amazing. It's all right, I'm gonna get through. Uh, the second step is to get into Messenger. And we either send emails or messages to then invite you to some way to add value. That's a video training. That's a PDF. I love webinars. Webinars are fantastic. Uh, that's what I teach as well. Webinars are the most powerful way to add value. And then you make an offer. At the end of this, I'm going to say, hey, look, if you want to learn more, here's a way that we can connect, right? And actually have a phone call that you and I can have a conversation with if you're serious about going further. So simple, simple, simple. From there, you follow up, whether it's an email or messenger. And you make sales, right? Some people are going to say from here, they're going to say, yeah, I'm keen. Put my hand up. Cool. I'll come to the webinar. Great. Some people are going to say, I'm all in. I want to do this with you. I want to learn what you've got to teach. I want the result that you are promising. I want the help to get there. Then you give them the transformation. You hold their hand. You look them in the eye. You, you hold them accountable. And then you repeat the system again. This is the simplest way. Absolutely simple way. Guys, Karen. Send the recording. Yeah, for sure. I'll send the recording for sure. See you, Karen. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, so stick with me, guys. I've got about another 10 minutes. We'll be out of here quarter past. Sorry about that. But this is the authority sales system. You're in the authority sales system right now. It is, it's easy to do. The technology can be difficult for some people. So I went and created my own app. I partnered with a company. We built this app called Freedomly. Of course, Freedom, one of my highest values. I had to call it Freedomly. Freedomly is an all-in-one software for your online business, whether you're doing coaching, network marketing, you've got a course, you're healing, whatever it is, if you're teaching on the internet, I've actually built a software that has all of your websites, your sales funnels. I give you the templates for the sales funnels. I give you the templates for the webinar. I give you the templates for the email follow-ups, the email marketing. Uh, we've got our, our calendars in there so people can book calls with us. We can manage all our conversations, all our leads. Uh, we take payments in there, reputation management. You host your membership site in here. Anything you can think of. The only other piece of software that I use in my business is Zoom because Zoom is Zoom, right? It's, in, it's the only other thing. But I've actually created it. So this is only at this stage only for my students. So the only people in here are my students and I'm in there with you. So any technology stuff, one, I've already created the templates. All you got to do is double click, change your photo from mine to yours double click, change your name, change the headline, whatever. It's all connected. It's all inside one single app. So technology is no longer an obstacle for people. And because I have access to your back office, I only ever go in there if you need help. But if you get stuck on something, my students say, Scotty, how do I do this? And I'm like, yep, no problem. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, you forgot to tick this. Oh, thank you. Right. It's usually just one thing. We have got a joke inside the community. It's, it's one button. It's always one button. You've got to tick one button or click one button and it's fixed. But software technology does not have to be a hurdle anymore. That's really important for you to understand. I want you to focus on helping people, not stuck on technology. 
Technology is there to serve you, not the other way around. Okay. So Freedomly is there for my students. You know, upload your evergreen course. You certainly can. I've got three courses in there uploaded, unlimited videos, unlimited courses, unlimited websites. Um, I've got three websites of my own. I'm about to launch my new Scotty Z website built in there. Um, unlimited emails, unlimited contacts. Everything is unlimited. I, and it's one like after the free period where we set everything up. Um, yeah, it's awesome, Anita. You'll absolutely love it. It's one very, very low price only for my students. Um, I don't make money on this. I just have it for you guys. I cover my expenses because one thing that I noticed in the past over many years is the two things that stopped my students' success. One, self-belief, right? Obviously, they, they would get in their heads. They'd stop returning my messages, stop returning my calls, stop coming to the coaching, uh, and I couldn't get them back. Uh, self-belief would stop them or the technology. They'd literally pull their hair out and say, fuck technology, I can't do it, Scotty. It's too hard because back in the day, we had five different softwares and it cost us a few hundred bucks a month. They'd plug them all together. The integrations didn't work. It was a pain. You didn't know where the problem was when it didn't work. So I'm looking for a course platform. Well, you found Freedomly. Um, I'm happy to give you a free 14-day trial as well and you can check it out, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's all integrated. So it all works. And again, I'm there to help you. So technology, and I know for a lot of the ladies who 80% of my, my students are ladies, you're welcome, Anita. 80% of you look at these people that are on this chat, 80% of the people that I work with the ladies. The technology thing can sometimes be very annoying. You just want to be with people. Great. I'll help you be with, be with people. So don't let technology stop you. Look, the, social, the, the bottom line is with social media marketing. This is why I love it so much. We serve a global marketplace. We've got people in here from LA, England, Australia, New Zealand, you name it. We've got a guy, Steve, in, catching the replay. He's in South Africa, global marketplace. There's 1.1 billion English speakers on the internet in dozens of countries, right? So no matter what's happening locally with your economy or with the mood or the sentiment or whatever, you've got a, a, a global marketplace that you can reach. It is recession proof. This is one thing I'll tell you, people are not going to stop learning and growing. And especially if you're focused on some sort of personal or pr professional development. So you're helping people to grow in themselves with the awakening happening. People are going, holy shit, I've been lied to my whole life. What do I do? Right? Yeah, thanks, Banos. What do I do? Um, it's recession proof. People aren't People aren't shying. Panos has just said to me, don't forget to breathe and drink some water. I am trying to get you guys out of here on time. So thanks, Panos. I need to remember that. Ah, love it. It's been a long time. It's been six months since I've done one of these. So it's recession proof and you can work from anywhere. I think I'm testament to that. I'm sitting in Russia right now talking to you and wherever you are in your country. So you have options to get the hell out of Dodge. You can go out the back. You don't have to get on a plane, a train. You don't have to go anywhere to work. You can work from anywhere. And I think that's really, really powerful. This is not going away. Social media is not going away. Online education is only growing. Norwegian, not so much. Yeah, but Heidi, you've got English and Norwegian, which is awesome. You've got both. Okay, another story here is Marshall and Kat. I mentioned these guys before, and I talk about you know the, the, the changing society. Marshall lost his chiropractor, his chiropractor in Darwin, and Kat was a massage therapist who did Reiki. They didn't want to get the jab. Hallelujah. Well done, right? But they couldn't. They, he literally lost his, his license. He couldn't practice anymore. She couldn't touch anybody anymore. So they, they, they didn't have any business. They were referred to me, um, word of mouth, uh, uh, another student. Now, after working with me, they packaged a hands-off healing modality. They call it a 5D healing um, and created the Online Healers Academy to help other healers, whether they're chiros or massage or Reiki or energetic healers, to move online. They took a lot of what I taught them with marketing and they teach that to their students so they can do it online as well. They launched their new business in eight weeks. So these are the guys that just went, here's the course, you know, within, I think it was four weeks, they had their webinar and everything up. I was like, whoa, you guys are on it. That's great. They launched their new business and made 20 grand in their first eight weeks. They made another 20 grand in their next eight weeks. And then from there, they've gone off on their own and they're continuing to grow. These guys back against the wall. What do I do? I've got these skills, but I can't do it anymore. Literally because of COVID, I can't do it because I don't have the jab. What am I going to do? They came to me and they launched. Guys, you can do this. You, they have the freedom now to be where they want to be, work from home, and they never have to worry about the government, the system. How many healers out there, Kairos, went and got the jab just because they were told to? It's not okay. So they were able to do it. So that's the, the, the step four there, guys. And I am feeling it now. Step four there uh, is to 
position yourself as an authority, very, very simple way for you to attract people through the authority sales system. Okay. Make it simple, add value, show up as the leader and people will come to you. Okay. Finally, I'm going to get you guys out of here. Invest in mentoring. Every professional has a mentor. Okay. Mentors provide a proven path to success and the roadmap to get there. Okay. Mentors hold you accountable to ensure you arrive at your desired destination. If you want to do something, find someone who has done it before you. I showed you that in the hero's journey. You can be a mentor for other people, but also look to find a mentor, whether it's me, whether it's somebody else that you resonate with. If you try and fumble around and figure it out yourself, it will take you a long time and you may not even get there. Find somebody that you trust and that you believe in and that believes in you and go and work with them. There are new ideas in your mind right now that wouldn't have been there if you hadn't attended this training. Give me a yes if that's true. If after this training, you now have new ideas, you think, maybe I can do this. Maybe this is for me, right? Elizabeth, big yes. Anita, I love it. Yes, 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 guys. And hopefully through this training, I've shown you, you can do this. You can talk with two exclamation marks. You can do this. This is not rocket science. It's about caring for people and creating a very simple system to be able to build it online. Okay, you can do this. Find the best mentor you can and follow their lead. All right, that is the quickest path to success. Now, you have a choice. All right, thank you guys for sticking with me a little bit longer. Um, I usually have a tendency to overteach, but that's okay. You have a choice right now. You've got a path in front of you. We're about to wrap up. Here's how I can help. I have set aside some time in the next few days to speak with you personally about how you can take what you know, your knowledge, your wisdom, your expertise, and turn it into your own online education business. Obviously, what we've been through today is, is generic. Like I'm talking to 20-something people and more in replay. Um, there's, you know, it's generic. I can't dive into your specifics, but I would like to if you're interested in doing that. On the call, we'll jump on a call for about 45 minutes. It'll probably be an hour. Uh, we will craft a step-by-step -step game plan to launch your own business that transforms people's lives. Again, that's the prerequisite. You have to want to help people. You have to. And brings you the income and freedom you desire. The cost of that call is absolutely free. Okay? Who is this for? It's not for everybody. You have to be a leader who wants more and has the inner drive to do what it takes to succeed. If you're a tire kicker, if you're unsure, please don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. Okay? You have to be highly coachable and a total action taker. This is a business. This is going to take work. All right. If you want to do it, you got to empty the cup a little bit. And as I say, you know, do this, please go and do it because I know the path in front of you. I know what you need to do to do it. I've done it many times before and I can get you there, but you have to empty the cup and you have to do what I ask you to do. All right. You must hold yourself to the highest standards of integrity. Again, my program is called Integral Mentor. My company is Integral College. Integrity is it. You have to show up and you have to help people. Because social media is a very transparent place. And you guys will get out there. And if you're not doing the right thing, people will, will speak about you badly. And if you go and see the comments on my posts or you've been with me for a while, you'll see that people speak very highly about me. It's because I, I'm doing my best to be a man of integrity. And you need to be as well. I'm not here for get rich quick bullshit. I'm not here to try and rip anybody off. I'm here to help people. And you need to want to help people as well. So that's it. If that is you, you're a person of integrity, you're an action taker, you want this, you've got the drive for more, you just need to go a bit deeper, let's book a call, okay? I'll put the link in the chat here uh, to everyone. And guys, this is first come, first serve, all right? I am going to the land uh, in a couple of days. So my calendar is not that open, uh, but I know that this is not for everybody. So there is a link right now in the chat if you click that, it will open and you can choose a time to book a call. All right. I said 45 minutes to an hour. There's no strings attached. There's nothing. I just want to see if you can take this further. After that call, you may be like, right, I've got it. I'm off. I'm going. Or you may say, Scotty, help me. Right. Now I'm doing this because I am committed to changing the world. I think that you've figured that out right now. If you've been watching me long enough online. Right. My mission is to empower as many leaders as possible with the skills to free themselves financially. The monetary system is designed to control us. You know that. you got to unplug from the system. Social media is the best way that you can do that. You know that. I know that, right? Um, and you can help other people that I can't help. What if you don't currently have any idea I wish I could teach people? Totally okay, Jules. If you come and do that exercise, the three sections, bring that to the call, 
I have a mind that can structure marketing. I mean, that's what I did for a long time for the big thought leaders. I'd come up with their marketing messages. I'd get out there and market for them. I'd run their webinars, you know? So marketing is my jam. If you have an inkling of what you love and what you're passionate about and a mountain that you've climbed, I can help you to structure that. And maybe I say on the call, look, you've got nothing, right? There's nothing we can do here. And I'll just be honest with you. But if there is something that you can do, I'll help you get clear on what that is, okay? And plus on that call, as I said, you might want my help to speed up your success. If so, we can discuss it and see if it's a good fit for both of us. If not, that's fine too. Um, and if that is you, book a call. As I said, I just put the link in there, but it's wisdom to freedom, turning your wisdom to freedom.com slash book, book a call. Guys, thank you so much for being with me. That was a lot of energy. And I don't know if you guys realize that I am sweating like a pig right now trying to get through that. That is the first hour and a bit long session I have done. You're so welcome in six months uh, after taking the summer off, which is a beautiful summer. But I hope you guys got a lot out of that. Okay. I hope that you guys took some wisdom from that. You're very welcome. Uh, and you're going to go and apply it. Like that's the biggest thing. Awesome. You're very welcome. That's the biggest thing is that you go and apply this. You have some exercises that you can do. If you want to book a call and you want to go further, book a call. Whether you're already in the game like David is and you're like, how do I get my message out there? How do I package this so people will buy it? How do I sell this? How do I create a webinar? How do I create a marketing system? How do I use Freedomly? Or your, your fresh, uh, like Jules is saying, I don't even know what I want to teach. I love people. I want to help people. I know I can help people, but I don't know where to start. If that's you, let's jump on a call. Let's have a chat and let's see if we can support you. Okay? I love you guys so much. I am literally going to go before I fall down. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, if you're catching the replay, same thing, guys, book a call. Um, there's spots available. Let's have some fun. If you really are committed to changing the world, let's link arms and do it together. We are better together. You're very, very welcome, guys. Anita, Elizabeth, Davina, Tessa, Sarah. Who else is with us? Panos, Taku, Heidi, Tina, Selena, Jules, and David. Thanks so much, guys. And for everyone in the replay, I love you guys so much. Have an amazing afternoon. Have an amazing evening. And I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Bye, guys.